Hello Super Sentai fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today I'm taking a look at, of course from Toku Collectibles, the fifth set of Abotaro Gears from Abotaro Sentai Dawn Brothers. Uh, so this set came out in October and I've actually had it for quite a while, I just have not bothered to open it until, uh, well basically right now. So as per usual, uh, this is a set of six Abotaro Gears that they have just kind of thrown into the box here very nicely, so that is all of them. And uh, just like I have been doing with Dawn Brothers, I skipped getting the rare this time, which in this case was a rare version of Kiji Brother. Now, as of right now, uh, this is seemingly the final Gashapon Abataro gear set. Uh, we don't have listings for a sixth one, so it doesn't look like we're going to get rare versions of Don Dragoku or Don Torobolt. Uh, but like, there doesn't really even need to be more Gashapon sets, because if you've been collecting all the Candy Toy and Gashapon sets so far on this line, and you got like that Cocker Ranger gear that came out with the apparel items, uh, you would have every single one of the main Sentai represented in Abataro Gears, and then also this with this set as well uh, completes all of the six rangers from Gokaiger onward, except for Stagbuster for some reason. Just doesn't have a gear, but there are two Gold Ranger gears in here, uh, being Beatbuster and Potter and X. And uh, yeah, so this is another nice set to just kind of fill some gaps. I'm honestly more excited for the set. Uh, for Beatbuster and Patron next and the you know regular Reds, I'll be you know pretty par for the course at this point. So I'm going to go and open these up, and we're going to take a look at them in different Don Brothers toys. And uh, this could be the last Avatar Gear video for a good amount of time, besides things like the Omikoshi Phoenix and everything like that. So, and also before I get going here, because uh, usually this isn't the case, but at the time of me making this video, Gashapon Set Five is still in stock on Toe Collectibles minus the rare. So. If you'd like to pick up this set and get some of the different reds that are in here for your collection or six ranger collection, I will be linked to that in the description below. So let's go ahead and open these guys up. Okay, so here are the gears out of the box here, or out of the package bags. Uh, so as you can see, we get four like Legend Sentai Red Ranger gears that are per unusual kind of thing. And then we have two Six Ranger gears, both being kind of the final Gold Rangers. Um, so like I said, I'm very excited for these because I do really like the Six Ranger gears quite a bit. And it's not that I'm not excited for these, it's just kind of like, since these gears do so little in the show, Abataro gears don't really seem to be a focus of like the show itself. Uh, but even in the toy line, they've been kind of felt like an afterthought at this point. But I still do like to collect them and, you know, kind of get the collection going with these. So, of course, we're going to take a look at all of them here very briefly in uh, kind of closer detail. So, first up, we have Battle Fever J. So, we do have the very nice artwork of Battle Japan right there with the Battle Fever logo in the background. And it's gear number eight. So, of course, also per usual, uh, any of these gears, these six, can work in Zenkaidra items, such as the Geertz Leaner, Deliner, and Toge Leaner. Um, but, of course... Uh, they are going to have some special sounds, like in the Tiger Dora, these are going to register them as Six Ranger Gears, and of course in the Dawn Blaster, these are going to register as Go Busters and Pato Ranger, and that kind of thing. But they will work in pretty much all the different toys, because they function just the same as their original Sentiger counterparts. So we have Change Man here with Change Dragon, which is pretty cool. I do still just absolutely love the artwork on these, it's always been very pretty. Gear number 15. Next up we have O-Ranger with O-Red right there. So another Tommy gear, uh, because we actually got all of Tommy's forms uh, from Power Rangers as gears, except for like Aubrey Black, which is kind of funny. And this is gear number 26. And then we have Gosei Red there for Gosager, which is gear number 49. And like I said, with these, if you've been collecting all the Kanye and Gashapon sets, these four should complete all 46 Super Sentai teams. Or 47, actually, with the two different uh, seasons from Potter and, uh, you know, Looper Ranger and Potter Ranger. And then we have the Beat Buster gear, which looks really, really cool. I do love this quite a bit. Uh, it's gear number 51, just like the regular, uh, like, Red Buster gear would be. It's still just really unfortunate that we only have a Beat Buster gear. We do not have a Stag Buster gear, which I just think is unfortunate. I don't know how you would do it. I don't know how the Tiger Door would be able to, like, distinguish the difference. Uh, there's a ton of like unused gear notch combinations that maybe they could have given to like a stag buster but see because like for looper ranger pots ranger since those are already like distinct teams they made both flippin x and pots and x because they are sort of regarded as two separate completely different rangers but like beat buster stag buster they just decided to just do one of them which is unfortunate but you know i guess it is what it would be with that uh, in course, if you bring in the sword, uh, like, you know, the uh, the sunglass sword, it would light up the colors of each of these teams. And for this one, if you scan it on the Tiger Door, uh, it would light up gold and silver, so it still would kind of acknowledge Stag Buster with that. And then the final gear here we have is Pot X, which does look very, very nice. 
and of course is gear number 58. Let's go ahead and bring in some of these toys here and take a look at the sounds these gears have to offer. So of course we're going to start with the Dawn Blaster. So I do like that it says Battle Fever J and then Battle Fever because Battle Fever doesn't have like a Sentai prefix, you know what I mean? Like, you know, usually is what they would say with the secondary sound. And next up we have Change Man. Next up we have O-Ranger. And then finally for the Dawn Blaster today, we have Ghostsager. Alright, so now for the six ranger ones, I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Tiger Dora. Okay, so here is the Tiger Dora, so we'll start with Beat Buster. I always, I always want to spin that the wrong direction at first. And then for these ones, I am going to go ahead and bring in the Rukuno Geki for the special finisher. So I do think that that's still really cool that the Six Rangers have special finishers in the Rukuno Geki. It just kind of makes them feel a little bit more special. And then of course the final gear to take a look at today is Hotterin X. So here he is right here. And, oh, there's the special sound. So <laughs> there we go with all the gear demos. Now, while I can't show off a completed Albataro gear collection with these four since I don't have Candy Toy Set 2 or the Cock Ranger gear, now that I have these two Six Rangers, there is one thing I can show off before I wrap up this video. So now with this set, we have a, I guess, complete collection of Six Ranger gears that we're going to get. Obviously, we don't have anybody between Kiba Ranger and Gokai Silver, but of course, we have the very first two Six Rangers, and we have every Six Ranger except for Stagbuster uh, following Gokaiger. So really, really cool that they've done these. I think these are really, really neat, and they have a lot of fun functionality in Donder Goku slash Torbolt stuff. And it just looks cool to kind of have some sort of unique thing with the Avataro gears that Sentai gears never got to. And that does it for my review of the Avataro Sentai Dawn Brothers Avataro Gear Gashapon Set 5. So I think this is it. I think this is the final Gashapon gear set uh, from Zenkaija or for Dawn Brothers. So it's been like almost two years. It's coming up pretty close on two years of me doing this. And uh, it's kind of bittersweet. You know, we had six sets for Zenkaija, five sets for Dawn Brothers here. Now I just got to go track down those rares. I got them last year, but I skipped them this year. 
Uh, but yeah, I mean, the gears are still very fun. You know, it's one of those things where I can recommend this if this is well, like has one of your favorite Sentais in it, or if you're collecting all the Avataro gears, if you missed out on stuff last year from Zenkaiger, if you're collecting Six Ranger gears, that's definitely going to be needed. And of course, if you have all these different Zon Brothers Zenkaiger toys, there's some cool functionality with these. But at the same time, like I said earlier, it just kind of feels like we're going through the motions with these gears. There's so many of them at this point, and it doesn't really seem like Bandai or Toy are too super super invested in this gimmick anymore but it's fine it's definitely kind of run its course it's still cool and we're kind of just you know finishing out some of those gaps in the collection so of course until next time you guys can check out all my other videos about don brothers albataro gear sentai gear is on kaiger whatever it may be here on the channel and you can follow me on twitter at living ranger key or at lightning pr and i'll see you all next time